The League of Women Voters in Janesville and Beloit are looking forward to the 2020 election, and today they celebrated 100 years of the 19th Amendment, which gave women the right to vote. Rock County reporter Adam Duxter shares what it means for this group. Well, today's event was to celebrate the progress made over the last 100 years. It highlighted issues still to change in years to come. Inside Cargill United Methodist Church, nearly 100 members of the League of Women Voters celebrated 100 years, although they say they're already focused on this year. Our uh, big emphasis is on voter education and uh, registration. So we're working hard to register voters for the uh, upcoming elections this spring and in, in the fall. Today, gerrymandering across the state of Wisconsin was a main topic of discussion, as members of the group wrote letters to state lawmakers to consider a fairer system. President Linda Reinhardt says it's a matter of education. We're trying to reach out to uh, new voters, uh, whether they're you know, high school or college students or uh, uh, new citizens, and uh, people that may be uh, underrepresented. In attendance at today's lunch, Elections Commission Administrator Megan Wolf, who says despite the issues with the Iowa caucus, Wisconsin voters should feel confident headed into this year's election. A huge distinction that should make Wisconsin voters feel really good about our process is only election officials, election professionals run elections here in Wisconsin. In Iowa or caucus states, that's actually a process run by the party. Today's 100-year celebration, a reminder the group is stronger in numbers. We work together and we want to uh, build coalitions with other groups that are also nonpartisan but uh, are uh, working for uh, good public policy. And while so much progress has been made over the last 100 years, the group says they're fully ready to take on the challenges that could be seen in the next century. In Janesville, Adam Duxter, News 3 Now. Other topics of conversation today included voter security and misinformation leading up to this year's elections. For more details, you can visit our website, channel3000.com.